Honeybees are an essential part of American food production, but now they are dying off at an alarming rate. Honeybees now in danger of disappearing. It's a scientific mystery and a catastrophe for American farmers. Millions of bees are dying in hives across the United States, and nobody knows why. Nearly half of all colonies gone in the last year. It's called colony collapse disorder, isn't that the syndrome? Researchers are calling it colony collapse disorder. There's a lot of uh, bees dying and they were wondering why. They're still not entirely sure why, but it's the death of a thousand cuts, they think. There's so many things that are stressing them out. Loss of habitat and another big one, probably the biggest, is, is these neonicotinoids, these pesticides. The first honeybees were imported to the United States in 1622. Up until the late 1800s, and he was nothing more than a local trade. As demand increased, so did the number of bees. And by the 1920s, beekeepers were working with manufacturers to help them produce and ship their honey throughout the country. In the 1940s, there were approximately 5 billion honeybees in America. Today, there are only 2.5 million remaining. Colony collapse disorder was discovered in 2006 and was deemed responsible for the losses of up to one-third of honeybee colonies. Now, the loss of honeybees are not only attributed to CCD, but also to extreme weather conditions, as well as nutritional issues in colonies. Honeybees are valued at $30 billion annually in United States agricultural revenue, pollinating 70 of the 100 crop species that feed 90% of the world. Without honeybees, we would lose a third of our diet. Without honeybees, we would lose our health. Without honeybees, we would lose our environment. So how can we help? Plant pollinator-friendly plants. Protect local honeybee swarms. Buy local honey. Buy organic foods. Stop using commercial pesticides. And most importantly, be friendly. Without you, there will be no honeybees. And without honeybees, there will be no you.